Indeed, the old saying, ignorance is bliss, is not true. In fact, what you don't know will hurt you. There is something hidden from you that you need to know. What is the very worst thing that could happen to you? You could die and find you still exist, and in fact, you are in a lost state. You failed in life, and now you realize that God exists, that he is the God of the Bible, and that he meant exactly what he had delivered in his communication with humankind. Another way of expressing what you need to know is to say, life is about the soul. When you die, that is all that remains of you, and of course, it is the most important thing, the real you, the everlasting, eternal you. Yet another way to express this most valued knowledge is to recognize that your life is a very personal battle between you and sin. There are many battles during our earthly existence, but this battle, this war is a spiritual war. God has defined the rules, and they consist of God defined sin, and the bottom line is that you must not die in sin. God is spiritual, you are ultimately spirit, without a body, and sin is unseen as is its forgiveness. We know that time goes in one direction, and that our time in the body is very short. We will pass, but when and where we go is seemingly unknown. Many think it does not matter since they believe we are going out of existence. However, they really do not know. So indeed, we know very little of what is truly important. The world cannot have any correct idea of God. How could they possibly know anything from beyond our realm? The truth about God only comes from his revelations to humankind. That revelation is uniquely from the word of God, the scriptures, the Bible. The truth about everything, about our existence, the purpose of our creator, how to succeed in life, and what it means to succeed, and to fail come from God. The truth about success as God reveals it is that God wants to share his divine nature with his creation. Knowing this to be the truth conjures up many questions. Behind the questions may be doubts, may be thinking the questions cannot be answered, and thus suggesting this idea of God cannot be true. It is a rather proud response that indicates a person is superior to God or more likely some person you know or have come to trust has the truth in these matters. The truth is that if you understand God as he has revealed himself, you can correctly understand God and his purpose. This author's books and videos provide help in understanding God. At a high level, the next screen reveals some things about God that can help. The previous screen indicated God's purpose was to share his divine nature with his creation, with humankind. One could say, then why aren't we sharing it right now? Or one might say, why are we being tested? Or why does the Bible discuss the issue of success and failure? And there could be endless questions. I would suggest that the Bible in its perfection provides a picture of completeness, of fitting everything perfectly together from beginning to end. However, the world and the world of religion without a good understanding of God provide their logical sounding answers, often just what they think from what little they know. Building on some knowledge and some personal beliefs, they create massive error. However, the following aspects of God's revelation can help any person who wants the truth to a deeper understanding of God as he reveals himself and such questions as the ones above can be answered reasonably well. Understand God, then have your questions answered. God has limitations, and that statement seems to oppose God's nature as people envision God as capable of all things, all-powerful. Yet God reveals to humankind that there are things he cannot do. One thing is that he cannot lie. If we go a little deeper, we can see God is the perfect absence of evil. This is revealed throughout the scriptures and God even provides some things to help our understanding. One of this author's books is titled, God is the Perfect Absence of Evil. As we are better understanding God, it becomes apparent that God cannot share eternity with evil. Thus, some way of getting to the heart of each individual is required. God, in his perfection, and that includes his perfection in fairness, must design a test that has each person making choices that determine their final outcome. In this way, God cannot arbitrarily decide a person's outcome. This would be consistent with God's declaration that he is not a respecter of persons. As God reveals just a little about himself, truthful things, can you see how a lack of understanding of God 
results in very bad conclusions. Let's look at just one more truth about God, and that might help us to better conclusions. Even more so it should help us to avoid very bad conclusions. Humankind struggles to understand God, even when he provides great clarity. Humankind does not appreciate perfection. How can someone deal with perfection? It was necessary for God to achieve his purpose that humankind be free to make choices. During the test, humankind could oppose God. They could exhibit all sorts of evil. In their evil state, we might say their sin state, they would be on the road to a failed life. They could not pray to God. They could not worship God. Humankind might think prayer and worship were available to every person, but not so. Just like people find fault with God in many matters, unless they have a relationship with God and honor God's word, they will be wrong. People build on the things they have wrong about God and are very, very far from God, from the truth. These six books were designed to help you be successful in life. In the background of this is coming to a better understanding of God and his purpose. The book, God, Catholic Audacity, was designed to point out the error of Catholicism. However, in that process, it defined the history of Christianity. Perhaps the only correct history of Christianity. Frequently, it has been suggested that those reading this book with a desire to know the truth could not remain Catholic or Protestant. Even the Pope of the Catholic Church would flee Catholicism. The truth is not complicated, but overwhelming to those who love the truth as one might expect from God.